Okay, this is your propane tank. What's inside your tank? Your overfill protection device, your OPD. Here's your part that sticks out. This is the valve body that's on top of the tank with your valve handle screwed into the tank right here. And then all this hangs down inside the tank. So let's go through what we've got here. This is your valve handle. operates a valve disc in here assembly so this is this it just kind of hangs on there okay and then as you screw the handle in you can see that Screws down and back up, and that's what raises and lowers this little disc. So you got two O-rings on here to seal it to prevent the propane from leaking back out through here. And then you have a little valve seat at the bottom here. And that seat's right down on top of there. You can see... Down there, there's the port for the main line coming in. And then the center hole is the going down into the tank. Okay. Over on this side, you've got the relief valve. 375 pounds. It's got a uh, little screwed in plug here with a hole in it so it, has, so it can vent out. But inside here, you've basically got this little valve disc assembly that sits down on the side of that hole. Like this, such. And then this spring sits down on top of it. And then there's a plug that screws in that's got a hole in it. So the, if the pressure in the tank gets up to 375 pounds, it'll push that little valve disc open and vent pressure out through here. Down under here you've got the port. This is inside the tank so this port feeds up through this relief. And then you've got your dip tube so when the tank is full this float will rise up to the stop and it's right at the level of the dip tube. It's four inches in the tank hanging down four inches and it feeds up through a port to your bleeder screw and if you pull that out you'll see it's just uh, and it's got a small little hole right there a little hole it's right there so as you unscrew this it allows pressure or liquid to flow up through this dip tube up through into this chamber. And then when you open the bleeder screw, it can bleed out through that hole. This is where your hose attaches. This assembly is screwed in there. Remove it. It's got a, a big rubber um, piece in here. So this is where your hose screws in, seals up in there. And a little gasket. And then inside, there's the, the hole. So this just feeds into that main hole. Just feeding in right into there and then goes into the tank so it's just one one port so this fits up into here and it's got a rubber valve seat and a spring so 
And when you screw your hose in here, it pushes, it pushes that, it pushes down on top of here. Oops, this little metal piece pushes this against this spring and opens the valve like such. And you can see it's got some drilled holes to allow the either the liquid if you're filling or the gas to come out if you're using the tank. So that's how that works. So if you're not screwed in tightly here, you won't be pushing that open. You won't be getting any gas out. Okay, so we've got an empty valve body now. Go down and look at the float. So when the uh, tank is filling, this comes up. It comes up. It's a stop here. You can see it's at the level of the dip tube. There's a spring-loaded valve in here. So when this is hanging down, it's open. When this gets full, it pushes. It allows that valve to close basically it's pushing there's a spring in here that pushes that you can see so it's open because the floats down and once it gets full that spring loaded valve will push down and shut off the the flow of propane liquid down through here there's these ports so it comes down through here and flows out through these holes and the gas also flows out when you're using the tank so this is where the tank gets filled and the gas also flows out through here. So let's unscrew this. This is an older tank. Um, so the details of what's in your tank are probably look different, but functionally they're very similar. Okay, so that just screws out of there. So you get the hole for the relief valve. This is the main port. This is your dip tube. That goes down, connects to that hole. This goes in. That's just a piece of gunk in there. Connects to your main port. And then you can see it goes straight through there. And that is coming out. There, you can see my finger right there. So this float, like I said, this once this float comes out, there's a valve that pops down there. Now I can pop this off. It's normally screwed in. So there's the uh, spring-loaded valve. Here's the float assembly, it just goes up and down. And this float, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's hollow. It's like a piece of plastic or something. So I don't think if you can't get a hole in it and fill it with liquid propane or whatever, it's just a piece of plastic solid. So this is your assembly, so we can unscrew it. screws and you can see that's just a an open port it screws up into the valve body right there and then inside here you've got this little disc so you've got the uh, valve seat down there and the holes are all around. You can see that's where the holes are down there. So that's where the, the liquid and the gas flow in and out into this valve assembly. And this sits 
and they're like this. There's the spring. This is your shaft that's going down through this hole. This is your valve seat. So when this is when the float is down, it's pushing this open. When you go to fill the tank, the liquid propane comes in. This valve is open. It allows the, you can see, just goes down in there like that. Go. Okay, that seals that off. See the it seals off the holes to the port. So when this is down, it's just um, the the float is pushing this up, and, and it's opening that. So these ports are open. This valve is pushed up, so gas can flow out out into your system. When you go to fill the tank, the float comes up, this pops down, and when it gets full, it shuts that disc off. Propane's coming in here, it's got the spring, so that's when it stops filling, it shuts that off. Then when you stop filling, now there's a gas, this is above the liquid level, these ports are, so now you have gas in here. And the gas can push open the valve to let gas come back out. So that's how it works. So that's what's inside the tank. And how everything works. So I hope you found that interesting. And uh, any questions, make a comment and I'll see if I can answer them.